Professor Dixon Aku, National Commandant of Peace Corps, say his officers of Peace Corps of Nigeria have received unprecedented empowerment to economically empower them nationwide. In his speech during the first phase of their three-day training program on the use of technology in Abuja, the Commandant said they were awarded at the 24th anniversary. Officers we are seeing here today, they are the principal officers of the Peace Corps. And if I say principal officers, it's a gathering of the board members, members of the National Executive Council, Commandant and the Executive from the 36 states of the Federation, including the Federal Capital Territory, and also local government commanders, because it will be possible to bring all our members over 187,000 a year. So the first phase of this uh, three-day training principally focused on the principal officers of the Corps. And what is the training all about? On the, on the occasion of our 24th anniversary at the National University Commission, one of our guests was so inspired by what we are doing and despite what the achievement recorded, we are not accorded the deserved recognition and patronage by government. And he was moved to promise each of the members of the Peace Corps in Nigeria, the over 187,000 Peace Corps members, a token of 3,000 US dollars worth of Zuga coin. He said the Corps engaged African Digital Literacy Scheme, reputed for training people on digital technology, and officers present at the training represented all local government in Nigeria. The organization is in East Widom engaged African digital literacy scheme that is reported for training people on digital uh, technology. And uh, they came here today, the being is a training that will take three uh, six months. They've engaged our people before we came here, this first batch, they've been training them, but the practical aspect of it that they need to interact is what gave birth to why we are here today. He expressed satisfaction that core members were also beneficiaries. Generally, I think uh, this empowerment program is real, it's unprecedented, and it's intended to economically empower our officers nationwide.